here's where the problem comes in. And this is why I fell out of love with my Pan America very quickly. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And yeah, look at this weather, it's crazy. There's a hurricane coming up from somewhere near Mexico. So here in South Orange County, the wind is blowing really bad. We're supposed to get rain over the next couple of days. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Josh and I are running down to the beach real quick in Dana Point. Uh, shoot some shots of the bikes but also i wanted to get this video out on the channel about why i hated my harley davidson pan america so i picked this bike up about a year ago barely rode it ended up hating it not really liking it at all for a very specific reason and i'm going to give you that reason here in just a few minutes guys make sure you like and subscribe uh, hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time a new video gets uploaded to the channel and We'll get down to the beach and I'll get into the nitty-gritty and the meat and the bones of why I hated my Harley-Davidson Pan America and why I Don't really hate it anymore. Matter of fact, I actually kind of like it If you're uh, watching this video and you ride adventure bikes, tell me down in the comment section below what bike you have and why you chose that bike and if you still like it now as much as you did when you first got it. Josh is driving his GS1250 today. Be sure and go follow Josh uh, on YouTube and uh, follow him on Instagram. The handles are right there on your screen. Okay guys, here we are at the beach, Dana Point, California, just down the street from where I live. Feel so fortunate to live at the beach, but what better location is it than this than to shoot a video? Uh, we're currently in the middle of a tropical storm or whatever hurricane's kicking up, so the wind may be really bad. I've got the mic on the inside of my shirt, so I'm hoping that the wind is not uh, too bad to shoot this video. Anyway, what I wanted to talk with you about is why I hated my Pan America. So I remember when the Pan America came out. Me and Josh and a friend of ours, Eve, were talking about doing a literal Pan America ride from all the way up in Alaska, all the way down to Baja, Mexico. And at the time, I had a Ducati Multistrada. Um, I also had a Ducati Monster uh, S. Um, I realized that the Multistrada is really only adventure bike if your adventure never leaves the pavement. It's not really uh, good off-road or what I felt comfortable taking off-road. So I wanted something that had the off-road capability. Then Harley-Davidson announces the Pan America in 2021. So I waited, put my name in, dealership finally called, said, hey, we've got your Pan America. I went down, I traded my Monster S in on the Pan America. Was really excited about the bike. I think Harley Davidson has done a great job of entering the adventure bike space. Um, but I also was ready to take my bike on an adventure. Here's where the problem comes in. And this is why I fell out of love with my Pan America very quickly. Harley Davidson did not properly and adequately prepare for the release of the Pan America. When it came out, there were very limited runs of side mounting hardware, panniers, 
uh, quite frankly, any accessories whatsoever for the Pan America. So when I got mine, I couldn't buy the Pan Ears, I couldn't buy the soft bags, I couldn't buy the mounting hardware. And every time I called every dealership in Southern California or anywhere else around the country for that matter, it was gonna be on back order for eight, nine, 10 months. So now I've bought another adventure bike that I can't take an adventure on because I can't take anything with me. That's when I started hating the bike. And honestly, I parked it in my garage and I never drove it. I just didn't. I ended up going and trading the Multistrada in on a 2021 Harley Davidson Street Glide Special, which I still have. I'll never get rid of. I love that motorcycle. And I just parked the Pan America. I did nothing with it. I never rode it. Josh has a brand deal with Lone Rider, and he said, you know what? I need to hook you up with those guys because they might have a solution for your Pan America. So over the last few months, I've been working on a solution with Lone Rider and luckily those guys they sent me a ton of luggage that you're gonna see I'll roll in some b-roll here um, that they sent me for the Pan America that I was able to just strap on using existing tie-down areas on the Pan America without having to change anything and since they sent it and Josh helped me put it on I love this motorcycle again. I absolutely love the Pan America. Uh, my business, if you, if you don't know now since I retired from the music business, is I own a film production company. So we work on docu-series, feature films. So I need to be able to carry around a lot of really expensive camera gear with me. Before I could not do that. And, and honestly, outside of taking a big adventure, the main reason I bought the Pan America was to use as a production vehicle. We live in Southern California. It never rains other than what it looks like it might do today. I wanted to be able to drive this to sets and to shoots and be able to, to do that. It's easier to park, easier on gas, the whole nine yards. So when Lone Rider sent all of the new luggage, I was really excited. I've been really pumped. We've got it on the bike now for the last couple of weeks. I've ridden this bike more in the last two weeks than I, I've ridden it in the last year. Uh, thank you to Lone Rider for sending me all of the luggage, the Overlander bags, uh, the fairing bags. I'm going to give you guys a complete list down in the description of this video of everything that they sent me. If you own a Pan America, you have been in my shoes. You can't get the Pan Ears. You can't get the side mounting hardware. No third party uh, manufacturers are offering, offering any solutions whatsoever. There's one over in the UK, but they want like $2,500 for the mounting hardware and their Pan Ears. You can't even just by their mounting hardware separately. So it's created a problem. Lone Rider to the rescue. Again, thank you to Lone Rider uh, for hooking me up with all of this amazing stuff. Links in the description down below. Please, if you guys are, are, are in my shoes, you own a Pan America, you wanna take an adventure, you want those bags that can go anywhere with you, uh, they are absolutely amazing with the pressure releasing valves. You can really get a lot in these bags. Currently on the back of the bike, I've got the Overlander 30, but they also sent me the Overlander 48 which you can put even more in. And they've sent me more stuff that I just haven't put on the bike yet. So not being able to take anything with me is not an excuse anymore as to why I don't drive the Pan America because thanks to Lone Rider, I can absolutely take the Pan America on an adventure, take tents with me, take clothes with me, take basically whatever it is I need to take, I can now take. So that's why I hated my 2021 Harley Davidson Pan America special. And thanks to Lone Rider, I now love it again. So thank you guys for joining me for this video. Don't forget, like the video, leave a comment below. Like I said on the way down here, if you have an adventure bike, tell me what you've got. Tell me why you like it and if you still like it as much today as you did the day that you bought it. Appreciate it, guys. Love you guys. See you in the next video.